Oh, good job. Please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Reprise de l'audience. And before the chamber hands the floor to Council Kung Sum On, Avant de uh, la could à Council Kung Sum On indicate to the chamber as much time you de anticipate to conclude your questioning as we need to make the arrangement for the bus and for the transportation as well. It's, a, a fri it's Friday today. Council Thank you, Mr. President. I hope Mr. I can conclude uh, before four, and maybe I only need uh, 20 heures, to 25 more minutes. 20, 20 President, minutes thank you. And Le again, merci. good afternoon, Mr. Ayhuen. Are Re you ready Monsieur to continue? Answer uh, yes, I am. Réponse, oui. President, Question. then you, uh, Council Consumon, you may proceed. Consumon, uh, thank you, Mr. President and Mr. Aichun. Before the break, we discussed the issue of uh, circling the name in blue or in red ink. Certains noms étaient entourés en bleu ou en rouge. And I'd like uh, to read to you vous lire an extract from your interview in document E319.1.32, a question answer 44. Question, question, and let me quote. When you stayed in Tramco district, did you ever see any documents regarding sweeping clean enemies? Answer 44, no. Answer 44, no. End of quote. Mr. Uh, witness, do you uh, confirm Monsieur that statement? Pouvez-vous confirmer ce que je viens de vous lire? Answer. Réponse. It is unclear to me. Could you please uh, repeat your question? Je n'ai pas très bien compris. Pourriez-vous répéter Answer. cette question, s'il vous plaît? No problem. Allow me to question. quote again. Pas de problème. Je question. 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 Did you ever see any documents regarding sweeping clean enemies? And your answer, uh, 44, no. End of quote. This is a question which was put to you by the OCIJ uh, investigator during your interview. Au cours de votre Do you recall the extracts that I just read it out to you? De cet extrait dont je viens de vous donner lecture? Answer, yes, I do, but I did not Réponse, see uh, oui. any uh, of that uh, document. Mais je n'ai pas vu ce genre de document. That is document on the sweeping clean the of the enemies. This kind of uh, documents uh, were considered uh, confidential. Ces documents étaient confidentiels. Counsel, uh, thank you. In the same document, at the question answer 40, and allow me to quote, question, did you ever see the plan to kill Vietnamese nationals in written form? Answer 40, answer 40, in October 1978, I saw a document about the plan to kill Vietnamese nationals. Question: Did the document mention the sweeping clean of Vietnamese document, nationals? On parle de Answer 41. Yes. Question 41. Initially, the team put me to work in the warehouse. Réponse, Since oui. the hair warehouse was empty, I returned to tap a rubber instead. Ce qui faisait One que day, me I wanted to latex. smoke a cigarette, jour, and I went to look for paper in the rubbish bin to roll a cigarette. Then I saw that Quand document, sur le document en question. and that Jim said, if you want to smoke dit, a cigarette, si go ahead and smoke, but do not read that. Having heard that, I sneaked out to read the paper right away. Written in the document was, Camera, sweep the enemies, completely, clean, urgently, 
because there are lots of enemies in the cooperative from Comrade King, du Comrade King Office 870 Committee Chef du bureau 870. End of quote. Fin de citation. You were asked a question on this matter by Judge Lavange and I'd like to report another set of questions to you. First of all, do you recall the, the statement that you made? D'abord, vous souvenez-vous de ce passage de votre déposition? Answer. I uh, read it. I saw it. It was not a, a, a document, a, a proper souviens, document. Vu. It was a handwritten letter, and there were only a few lines. And I did not know who put it in, the, uh, in that uh, rubbish bin. It could be an anonymous uh, letter. And yes, the, the content was there, that there was instructions to sweep clean the enemy. Urgently, because there were a lot of enemies in the cooperatives and in the unions, and the person who signed was Comrade Kier from Office 870 Committee. Thank you. Question. Can you uh, elaborate a little bit further on the uh, the form of the letter? Was it a handwritten or was it typed? Answer: It was handwritten and it was a, a bad a handwriting. I found it difficult to read, so I asked the, the graphy to help me to read it, and he read out the same thing that I understood. Question: How? How was it written? On, for example, on what piece of paper? Answer: It was Quel on a, a piece papier? of paper about uh, the size of uh, my palm. C'était une feuille de papier de la taille de ma main, de ma paume. Question: What kind of paper was it? Question: De quel was type de papier s'agissait-il? A notebook or what was it? Une feuille de carnet Answer, ou I, autre chose? Uh, can I recall it? I Réponse. did not. Spend time to examine the what kind of paper it was. Je n'ai pas pris le temps d'étudier la qualité du papier. Thank you. Question. I'd like to move to another uh, topic Question. that Merci. is the uh, marriage. Sujet, celui des mariages. You have testified uh, quite a lot on this uh, topic Vous avez déjà parlé and de I'd cette like question. to uh, touch upon it by uh, quoting a reference from uh, Yei Boon's uh, testimony de la de Yei Boon. on the 4th May 2015 Kam testified Boon before this court est venu déposer devant la chambre. And uh, on the transcript, it it was at zero nine o'clock, fifty two minutes and fifty two seconds. And I, I read uh, the quote from the transcript. And Mr. Ayan, please listen. And I will put a question to you after I read out the extract from this transcript. Do you understand the process, Mr. Ayan? Again, Mr. Ayhun, can you hear me? Est-ce que vous m'entendez, Monsieur? Ayhun, it is difficult to uh, hear you. J'ai du mal à vous entendre. Counsel, I just informed you that I will read out. Je viens de vous dire que j'allais vous donner une lecture. Of Boone, d'un passage de la déposition de Boone, who testified before this court uh, last week, and after that I will put the questions to you. And allow me to quote. Question. Je cite. Question. What was the what what kind of re-education can you elaborate a bit further? 
De quel type de And rééducation uh, yes, voulez-vous nous parler we had to, uh, the new Nous devions rééduquer les membres du peuple And nouveau. Même chose pour le peuple des two people les as they did not uh, know each other yet and the new encore. people had just arrived and the old people had been uh, there le peuple de base était là depuis longtemps. and a few lines later uh, she continued bas, the upper echelon did not l'échelon supérieur Instruct us to allow the marriage of the new people with the old people, as the new people had just arrived, and that they, and that they did not know each other yet, and that they did not trust each other yet. And that is the truth. And of quote, free translation. Fin de citation. Mr. Ihun. Have you heard uh, the extract that I just read out? Avez-vous entendu ce dont je viens Answer. de vous donner le yes. lecture? Réponse oui. I did not hear uh, any mentioning about the prohibition of uh, the marriage between old and new people. But in the communes where I uh, was, mais anyone could marry anyone if uh, it was vivais, consented, regardless whether they were old or new people. And of course, if anyone had a conflict, the, the person would be sanctioned to carry us. Thank you. Question. And in your village and uh, commune, dans votre village, dans votre commune, were there any uh, couples that are uh, One of them was old uh, or bad person. Answer in my village, in, in my village, villages and a commune. There were no new people, and one of the villages was uh, known as uh, a model village. Question. Can you uh, confirm that modèles. there were no, no new people living in your Question. commune? Answer, yes. Question. And can you oui. tell the reason Question. that uh, no new people were sent to uh, settle in your commune? Answer, because réponse. the village was uh, considered a model village, village and there were no new model. people living in that uh, uh, village. De they de did not come to that village. village. Venu y vivre. Question. Did you know about uh, the uh, marriages uh, Celebrated under the period of democratic Cambodia, oh, and uh, it was between the old people and the best people. To your knowledge, entre peuple nouveau et peuple de base, Answer, no, I uh, did not souvenir. know about that, Réponse, non, and I did not know much about the, the marriages. If they, they got married, they got married uh, si in their respective marier, uh, villages or communes. Village ou commune respectif. Question. And let me uh, confirm. Uh, you just stated that Question. you never attended any uh, marriage ceremony during the period of a democratic Cambodia. Am I uh, correct? Answer yes, compris. that is correct. Réponse, oui. I came to live in Chuk. Je suis allé I vivre saw à a marriage celebration of 400 couples. And that happened in In September 1978. En septembre 1978. Council interrupts. Uh, Mr. Ikeun, I'd like to Aigun. ask you about uh, the event in uh, Tramco district. Do you have uh, any knowledge about the marriages that uh, took place in Tramco district? Uh, no, I did not. I never attended uh, any marriage ceremony. Question. Did, do you have any information Question. about any forced marriage at uh, your location? Answer. Answer. The uh, 
persons who were interested in uh, a partner, the person would have to uh, make a, a proposal to Anka at the district level. And once there were enough proposals, then the uh, Anka at the district would organize uh, the, the marriage. Uh, council uh, interrupts. Uh, Mr. Ayhun, you do not need to uh, mention about any example of Monsieur a marriage Ayman, or event that uh, happened after 1979. We are interested for the, uh, in the events that took place uh, before 1979. And Mr. Ayhun, let me move on to another uh, uh, issue that is in relation to Mr. Pechim. Who was your elder, who is your elder uh, in-law, brother-in-law, is that correct? Answer, yes, that is correct. But in fact, he divorced uh, his wife in uh, July 1980 and he remarried another woman, so uh, he and I seem to be distant. Council, can you uh, tell the éloigner, court uh, oui. when did you uh, get to know uh, Pichim? Witness, Pichim? please uh, repeat your question. Question. Votre question vous plaît. When question. did you first uh, get to know Pichim? Quand avez -vous Answer, Pichim pour we la were fois? living in the same village Réponse. and Nous we all knew about our village. relatives, about the, the parents or the grandparents or the great-grandparents. Thank you. Question. Merci. Do you know when uh, Pechim left uh, Trangkot District Question. for Kampung Cham province? Answer, it was in March 1977. He went to the uh, North Réponse. Zone to take charge of a rubber plantation. And in August 1978, he uh, went to take charge of a, a factory. But uh, the factory was all also part of the uh, rubber uh, plantation management. Council, thank you. And when Question, you merci. left Stramco to Quand the rubber plantation in Kampung Cham, had Big Jim arrived before your arrival? And did you meet Quand him there? Quitté. Answer. I arrived at uh, 5 in the morning and I saw him there at the Chup rubber plantation. He was transferred from Chum Kadom to the uh, Chup plantation. Question. So when you arrived at uh, the uh, rubber plantation, you met the Pichim on the first day of your arrival, is that correct? Answer, yes, because in the morning uh, there was a meeting to organize the forces that had just arrived. And I was not appointed to engage in any specific task. Thank you. Question. Merci. During the period Question. of the Democratic Cambodia regime, did you have any conflict or argument with Pechim? Answer. Eu des no, avec Pechim? I uh, did not. Réponse, non. I had to please him since he was a Je teacher and later on he was a district secretary, etc. Thank you. Question. Merci. And later on, Question. do you have any personal uh, conflict uh, with the Pechim? Answer. Uh, it's a long story. Réponse. In 1979, when the Vietnamese troops arrived, we fled to the forest Lorsque together. Nous arrivés, nous nous and ensemble by 1980, that is in January 1980, he called me to a meeting. Il m'a demandé de participer à une réunion. I, I was set 
a plan to clear a a forest for a plantation, Je and I said that we could not clear the, the forest as the Vietnamese would hear uh, the noise from the falling trees. And then he shouted abattus. at me. Il m'a alors crié après. And he said that that's the reason I Et didn't want to, you to, uh, to, to call you to come along. Il ne voulait pas que je vienne seul. And he was very angry at me, but I didn't notice that. Moi. And when I returned to my uh, place, je dit, je suis chez moi. the three young men uh, came, Trois jeunes and sont arrivés. Uh, they were uh, weeping. Ils pleuraient. And I asked why they were weeping, and then they said that uh, he instructed them to come and kill me. De venir me tuer. But they did not want to kill me. me tuer. So then at night time, we fled to the uh, rubber plantation. Nous nous pendant la nuit. And then that Jim vers la plantation des VA sent a, a, a unit from the center army with a, a grenade launcher to come and locate me. Pour I was asked a question what I did there in Kampong Thom. And Kampong I said I did not uh, do anything much. And we didn't have much food to eat as we only ate the leaves and uh, fish as the Vietnamese uh, troops were uh, uh, somewhere around. Parce que les étaient tout and at that time, those soldiers, they had uh, some AK-47 rifles and a uh, grenade launcher on their on his uh, shoulder. But I was not afraid uh, of them uh, at the time. And that's what happened. And later on, Qu we went up the Dong Raya Mountain in July 1980. And I was asked to uh, to work, and I refused, and then I was accused of being a deserter. And that Jim said that uh, we were fighting the enemy, Jim and the enemy was everywhere uh, in the country. Council interrupts. Uh, thank you, Mr. Aihiron. Sorry for my interruption, and I think I get your point. And allow me to ask another question. J'aimerais maintenant vous poser une autre question. During the period of the democratic Cambodia regime, that le Kampuchea you always uh, respected uh, and followed the instruction of Pechum, and only after 1979 you had the conflicts with them. Des avec lui, des My question to you is the uh, following. Je vous pose donc la question suivante. What were the cause of your upset with Pechim? Pour quelle raison étiez-vous contrarié? And that you wanted to kill one another? Pourquoi what was the, the actually the, the main point or the main deux? reason for that? Pour quelle Answer, raison? Yes, I can. First, as I said, he called me to a meeting to clear a forest, and Donc, I said we could not do it, as uh, the noise would be heard uh, over le by le the Vietnamese le troops le nearby, and then he was angry, and he shouted to me in a strong voice. Il, uh, then he sent a young man to, uh, to, to kill me, et il a ses gens but then they didn't dare to do it, then I fled to a rubber plantation. And that was the conflict that he sent their people to, 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 to kill me. Voilà Council interrupt. You talk about the Chimka Dong and the oui, uh, rubber plantation. Where was the location? Answer, it was at uh, Stung Trong in the Kampong Cham province. Dans la province de Kampong Question, Cham. Uh, what year was it? Answer, he threatened me, Question, uh, and that happened in January. Réponse. Il m'a menacé. Janvier 1980. And then I went. I fled to the uh, Chuk plantation Ensuite, je me suis en février. 
question. Besides your question. personal uh, conflict between you Outre and Jim when uh, he asked you to Jim clear uh, a forest, vous a une forêt. and let uh, you put that aside, and when you refer Outre to cela. his uh, character during the period of the Mukoti Kamboji, what can you si uh, say in his capacity as a, a, a Khmer Rouge cadre? Que pourriez-vous dire de lui en tant que cadre Answer. Khmer Rouge When he was in the district, he was district, all right. Tout allait he bien. didn't il get angry with anyone, and uh, sufficient food uh, was provided by him. Il but uh, later on, he became manger, angry at me. Mais par la suite, il Questioned. Now, are you still upset with, with him? Answer, at the time that he sent people to kill me, I was very angry, but now I don't feel the anger anymore. Question, do you maintain any relationship with him? Answer, uh, one day he came to a ceremony at his nephew's house. And he came to my house and he spoke to me moi, and asked me whether I would go to, uh, to Phnom Penh or not. And he si was accusing me of uh, telling the people in Phnom Penh that uh, he was the deputy chief Penh, of the Phnom district. Penh, district. And he asked me what did he, he do wrong that he was accused of being deputy chief of the district. Chef, du district. And we, he, he, he spoke about uh, that. Voilà Council, I don't really get it, your answer. When you said uh, uh, deputy chief of the district, whom did you mean? Answer, I referred to the chim when the chim asked me whether I uh, had been to Phnom Penh. And I uh, said I went uh, to Phnom Penh with uh, some uh, foreigners and I was told about his position as a deputy chief and uh, I was told about that put, uh, question was put to me about that chai, about him, etc. In relation to their position during the uh, Democratic Cambodia period. Council, uh, thank you. Did you have really intense uh, argument uh, when you met him last during that uh, time? Answer, no, uh, that's what I uh, said. Disputé violemment avec lui and vous uh, he said that, réponse, non. Uh, he said that I was his uh, relative Il and that he did not mention any uh, position that I held during the period of Democratic Cambodia. That's what he said. And uh, it, it was kind of uh, casual after that. Thank you, Mr. Aikun and Mr. President. I don't have any further questions for this witness. President, uh, our proceedings today uh, come to a conclusion a bit earlier. As there is no uh, reserve witness uh, for today, so the chamber will adjourn it now and resume on the eight, Monday, the 18th May 2015, commencing from 9 o'clock in the morning on Monday, the 18th, the chamber will hear testimony of a witness. Nous entendrons la déposition d'un témoin. To TCW 986. This information is for the parties and the public. Uh, Mr. Ivy in the chamber is Monsieur grateful Aigou, of your testi testimony via video link. As a witness to, during the last two days, and your Merci testimony may contribute to ascertaining the truth in this case. And your testimony espèce. now comes to a Votre conclusion, and you uh, may uh, rest. And we wish you a good health and all the best. You hear us, sir, Mr. Hoon? Witness, yes. Vous, nous vous entendu, Monsieur you, you, uh, oui. you may not be excused. Le président, vous pouvez vous retirer. Witness, Le I témoin. wish you, uh, Mr. President, all the happiness Monsieur and prosperity. Je vous President, thank you. Et 
And security personnel, you are instructed to take the two accused back to the detention facilities and have them return to attend to the uh, proceedings. On the morning of Monday, 18 May 2015, before 9 o'clock, the court is now returned.